Hey there, welcome to the 51st Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. This marks the 50th straight week of tutorials uh, on easy programming on JavaScript. So thank you for sticking around and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to iterate through an HTML form, its fields, and its values by looking at a special property uh, that comes with JavaScript when you're looking at HTML forms called elements. So the elements property is, is pretty cool. So let's start coding and I'll explain uh, as I go. So do var form, I'll declare a new variable called form. And in my HTML area, I have a form ID for my form. So we'll do uh, document.get element by ID my form dot elements. So what dot elements, what the elements property does is it, if it's a form, it looks at all uh, all the elements within that form, and it returns an array of, of everything in there. So if I paste it into my uh, JavaScript console, uh, you need to switch to the JS shell uh, frame because there are several frames here since it's uh, using different windows. Uh, if I press enter, and it returns a an array of items, so zero through five. Uh, this is another view of the array. Uh, so, for example, if you want to access one part of the array, you can do dot elements zero. So it gives me the first element. Uh, again, it's an array. You can access the properties of that first element. So I can do zero dot value. So I get an asmus. I can do dot type. I get text. So you can use the elements. Uh, item to iterate through a form and quickly get properties. You can manipulate it. You can get it in the past. I've shown you how you can ind get individual properties of form elements. Uh, here with this information, you can uh, get everything in a form in just a few lines of code. So let's code and see what that looks like. I'm going to use a simple for loop. Uh, I recommend that you check out my for loop tutorial if you haven't. Var i equals to zero and then we'll do i is less than form.length. Uh, since it's an array, uh, since form is an array, you can apply the length attribute, the length property up to it. We'll do i plus plus. And then we'll do console.law. Let's just output to the console, nothing special. Form i, lots of typos, dot name, concatenate, make it look a little pretty. Uh, form i dot value. So so we're just going through each of the form items uh, from zero through five in this case. Uh, it's going to get me the name, uh, which is the name property here. So it'll get me phone here, and then the value, which is the value here uh, in the HTML. So if I click on, if I open up my element inspector again, and I click on run. There you go. So it went through each of my uh, elements and outputted the name property, uh, the N is capital in name because I capitalized it here on purpose, uh, followed by the value. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, but you'll notice that it also uh, outputted the submit. Sometimes you don't want the submit if you have other buttons or if you want to skip a certain type of, uh, certain type of, uh, HTML form element. So for example, you can do some validation of your own. So you can do if form i dot type, because remember you can get the type from the HTML form elements equals to text now if I update and run this, it'll only get me uh, all the all the elements that are of type text. The submit button is the only one that is not of type text. So if I do run, there you go. It's pretty straightforward, right? So I would recommend you play around with this. Uh, this is a great way through to get through an entire form and do some validation of your own. Uh, so play around with this knowledge. Uh, get more information on easyprogramming.net and be sure to leave a comment on that page uh, and ask a question. The site has just been relaunched with a new look, so be sure to check that out. It has a more user-friendly interface. If you find bugs, please let me know. Thanks for watching the 51st Easy JavaScript tutorial, marking the 50th straight week of tutorials. And thank you for helping us reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. You guys are all awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.